Hey everybody. So the R50 in the 955 version one, it's an obscure modification. It's only done in certain places and it's easy to identify because the value of the part is always scraped off. And it is up just above IC1 over here, above uh, pins eight and nine. And it should be a 220K, but it's often changed to a 33K. Now what that does, is the slope for things like the AGC and the S meter and so on and so forth. So if you got this slope, so what it does is it pushes the whole thing up. Now, how that affects the S meter is, um, if let's say you have a minus 110 dBm signal and it, let's say the S meter is, is showing you an S1. Well, that change actually pushes that up over well over 10 dB. So now your S meter won't show you any indication with that mod, that resistor changed, but you're still hearing the same signal. So it gives you this false impression of, well, my signal meter isn't showing me as good of a signal. Uh, you know, I'm not, I might not even be seeing an S meter, you know, there's no S meter indication, but I still hear this person, which means my God, my receiver must be receiving these really weak signals. And it's not, it's literally, a, I mean, I, I, to, to put it quite point, point blank, it's a gimmick. Um, it doesn't help you. And with strong signals, they get distorted because now the AGC is no longer able to sufficiently limit the strong signals. So I'm going to show you the, uh, the inability of the AGC with this done to limit the strong signals. They actually become distorted. So if you look up here, I've got the CMU 200 connected. The radio is not powered up. So measure these resistors. So the switch in this position, is, this resistor up here, at what's at the top from your perspective is connected. And this one is out of circuit. Uh, we had to measure these out of circuit because otherwise we'll get a, a false reading. So this is the 220K, okay? This one is in circuit and this one is a 33K. If I measure it in circuit, and see, it, it, it's not measuring it quite correctly, but this is why I just throw the switch the other way, and now this one is out of circuit. And that's the 33K. Uh, a DRL suggestion. He's the one who said, you know, to put them on a switch and toggle it so you can actually see the difference. Good idea. Here we are. So, this right now is... With a 220K in the in R50's position, I've got this 30 gauge wire. I got it looped through here. So if I have an oopsie and I snag that, I don't rip the pads off the board because it's an 0603 part. And I don't want to have to sit here and, you know, do trace repair on this. So I'm going to power this up. I've got a 50 dBm signal going in right now. 50 D, minus 50 dBm at 100% modulation, 1 kilohertz tone. Power the radio up. And there we are. Synad of 32 dB, total harmonic distortion and noise, 2.5%. That's stock with the stock 220K ohm resistor in that position. So if I go ahead and flip the switch, now we have almost 5% total harmonic distortion and noise, and our Synad has dropped. So we have decreased the performance of this receiver just with a, with a part swap. So, you know, and it gets worse. If I go ahead and I change this to minus 40 dBm, which would be a really strong signal, it gets worse. It just gets worse and worse and worse. But what about the stock value? Two and a half percent. Miracles do happen. So the AGC performs obviously correctly with the correct value. Now you've got this, you know, situation where the AGC is, like I said before, is unable to reduce the gain on these amplifier stages and thus cause them to overload and clip. And now you've got distortion. So again, not the best of ideas, you know, to do this. Um, it might make the bottom of the S meter look good, but it certainly doesn't work on the top end. Really strong signals will distort. And if you really think about like a minus 40, you know, that's probably the equivalent to a near full si uh, signal strength meeting, uh, meter reading. You know, on this one, it isn't quite full strength. So, you know, again, 
not the best thing in the world to do. It just isn't. Um, if you have a radio that has this done, you really want it removed. You want a 220K reinstalled on there. So, you know, and I know I'm going to get it. Well, how do I know that that's the radio? Well, there you go. No more reading. So, yeah. CMU's reading this. Here, pull the antenna out. Bunk. Still receiving it a little bit, actually. You see, I bring it. That's how hot the signal is. You can actually see it uh, reading this signal. Um, just not even plugged in. That's how strong the signal is. So, you know, it's minus 40 dBm. It's a pretty hot signal. So anyway, uh, don't do this mod. And if you have it done to your radio, you might want it gone. So anyway, that's what it does. Shouldn't do it. You shouldn't want it. Not a good idea. Cheers, guys.